Okay, I'm gonna give you a few technical tips, okay? Making yourself look good on video. Real simple, 101, okay? I'm doing it now. One, shoot yourself from about the bottom of your rib cage to the top of your head, or even a little further back, right? You wanna see a portion of yourself, right? You wanna ground yourself in the frame. If you're too close, okay, one, ah, two, yeah, maybe not. Um, you know, give yourself a little room, okay? Make sure that you are facing the brightest light source in the room. So for me, that light is right there, okay? And it's hitting the side of my face, and that creates a little bit of shadow, kind of makes me look, you know, present, you know, not flat and not, not too weird, I hope. Um, so those two things. Keep your camera, oh my gosh, guys, you gotta, you gotta keep your camera horizontal, right? You've got to, oh my gosh, you have got to, got to, got to keep your camera horizontal, okay? Now, here's what I mean by that. Now, I know we live in the age of the cell phone camera, and frankly, it's a miraculous tool and I love mine to death. I know that we're living in the age of TikTok and, and other sort of social media platforms that seem to think that it's okay to film with your camera in a vertical position, but for our purposes, learning some fundamentals about composition, no. We're, we use our camera in a horizontal position all the time. Here's what I mean by that. Do not film your video like this, okay? Yeah, regardless if you have a tablet or a phone or whatever you're using, never, I mean, like I should put a big X graphic, like no, I want this, okay? Always and forever for whams, we, form, we film our videos horizontally. Now, um, the why, what's the why? I can tell you the why, because this is the shape your screen is, right? Now, even if you are using your phone to view your videos thusly, you are going to get a screen that looks like this. So you see, these devices always prioritize, right, screen size to fit in a horizontal position. So maximize your device, film in the horizontal, okay? That's very important. I'm going to give you one more variable that I want you to incorporate into your video, and that is I want you to use the rule of thirds. Now, many of you have heard me talk about the rule of thirds before. It's a compositional tool for you to just keep in your mind that helps you frame your shot, right? You see it in newscasting oftentimes where you'll have the, the speaker offset to it so they can include a graphic to their, uh, you see, to their left. Um, you see it in photography because oftentimes that helps us put, our, put the central subject, if it's a person, into a location to tell more of a complex story. You want to find a quiet place, okay? Now your device will do some of that work for you, but you want to make, sh you want to make it easy on your device okay by giving yourself the quietest spot that you possibly can now that's one of the reasons i came to school today is because i have two small children at home and uh, actually making videos there can be really exasperating i know we all have limitations okay i'm not uh, and limitations can be amazing you can work those limitations into your video you can make a joke about them yeah anyway I, I don't mean to say that I'm gonna like not give you credit if there's background noise, but do your best to at least be considerate and think about the sound that's going on in your video and see if you can't kind of like find a way to make it make it work for you, okay? Because um, I, I, I'm much more excited to see people come up with interesting solutions to their limitations than I am seeing people have all the cool toys and gear in, in, the, in the world. Okay, bye.